Hello guys, we are back with our next tutorial. In this tutorial, let's go through Newton forward interpretation formula and Newton backward interpretation formula. So guys, these two formulas are really simple and similar guys. They are almost similar guys. So now first let us go through Newton forward interpretation formula. It, that is nothing but y is equals to f of x that is equals to y naught plus p del of y naught plus p into p minus 1 by 2 factorial into del square of y naught plus p of p minus 1 into p minus 2 by 3 factorial into del cube of y naught plus and so on. It just continues like that. So where p is equals to x minus x naught by h where h is the interval or length of interval that's nothing but the difference between them here x and x naught will be given directly in the question okay so now let us go through newton backward interpretation formula guys so the main difference will be here we'll be inserting plus instead of minus guys and the del symbol will be inverted so i'll be saying you why it is inverted also don't worry okay so that's this formula y is equals to f of x is equals to y of n plus p into reverse del of y of n okay not will become n that's also a thing plus p into p my p plus 1 by 2 factorial into reverse del square of y n plus p into p plus 1 into p plus 2 by 3 factorial into reverse del cube y of n plus and so on p is equals to x of x minus n by h where h is the interval length of the interval okay fine so i hope everyone got a small idea on the both the formulas so now let us go through a small problem so that you'll be having a hundred percent crystal clear of this problems guys okay so basically let me take a piece of paper so that i can give you a clear idea guys okay, just a second okay fine so in this method also the question will be 100% clear the name of the method will be clearly given in the question so that's really a plus point for us guys okay so basically from the question i'll be just copying this only guys okay that is nothing but x we got 1.1 1 1.3 1 1 1.5 1 1.7 1 1.9 and y 0 0.21 0 0.69 1.25 1 1.89 2.61 fine so in the question he gave a table and he also told to find y of 1.4 guys that's our main goal to find okay fine okay so this is how the question will be given so in the question he'll be clearly mentioning that what we need to find Newton forward interpretation or backward interpretation or both that's the main thing guys okay so initially we'll be constructing a table using these guys so it is nothing but you'll be having an x column y column and the other column will be del of y del square of y del cube of y del power 4 of y so here 1 2 3 4 5 so 5 minus 1 is equal to 4 that power should be existing guys okay so or else you can count even like this we need 1 2 3 4 5 right so 1 2 3 4 5 done no need of uh, y power del power 5 y that's not needed okay so now we'll be writing the same values from the above 1.3 1.5 1.7 1 1.9 y is equals to 0 0.21 0 0.69 1.25 1.89 2.01 okay so the main goal of del of y is the subtraction between these two will be written in middle subtraction of these two will be written in middle subtraction of these two will be written in middle subtraction of these two will be written in middle so subtraction of these two use calci guys for your clarity so that you, there will be no mistakes Okay, fine. The subtraction if these two is nothing but 0 0.48, of these two is 0 0.56, of these two is 0 0.64, of these two is 0 0.72. So now again the same process continues. Of these two, of these two, of these two in the middle. Fine. Of these two it is nothing but 0 0.08, of these two is 0 0.08, of these two is again 0 
So again of these two, of these two. It is nothing but zero, nothing but zero. Of these two, zero. Okay. Okay guys, so now I hope everyone got a small idea on how we have filled this table. Okay. So the main thing that you should remember is when you substitute the for the when you substitute or use the Newton's forward interpolation formula, you will be considering the upper triangle, guys. So this is what I call as the upper triangle. These values will be the values for these squared values. That is nothing but y del of y del of y square like that. We have now. So these are the values that we use and when we are using Newton backward interpretation formula we'll be using the lower case values guys which are denoted by reverse del of y reverse del sorry reverse del of sorry y reverse del of y reverse del square of y reverse del cube of y like that right I hope everyone got a small idea on this guys okay so now let us solve the problem of Newton forward interpolation formula using Newton forward interpolation formula. Okay, just give me a second. Okay, so now let us write Newton forward interpolation formula. Okay, so basically, what's the formula, guys? It is nothing but y is equals to y is equals to f of x is equals to y naught plus p into del of y naught plus p into p minus 1 by 2 factorial into del square of y plus p into p minus 1 into p minus 2 by 3 factorial into del cube of y we need to continue up to del power 4 right so p into p minus 1 into p minus 2 into p minus 3 by 4 factorial into del power 4 y plus and so on all the terms and so on will be zero as there are no values right so they all become zero guys it's really simple okay so now substitute the values so here the major unknown that is still existing is p guys so we have a formula for p that is nothing but p is equals to x minus x naught by h so you may ask me that what is x what is x naught so x naught is nothing but which is clearly given in the table at what position it is starting 1.1 so x naught is 1.1 x is what to find y of 1.4 so x will be 1.4 h H is the difference between these two or these two or these two or these two. Two consecutive things difference which is nothing but it is similar right. It's mostly it will be similar guys. Okay. So it is nothing but 0.2. So by solving that we get the value of P is nothing but 1.5. Fine. So now substitute all the values guys. So we will be getting I told you that this is nothing but Y naught 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 downer n n n n del power 4 y n right okay now substitute all the values y naught is nothing but y naught is this okay so y naught is nothing but 0 0.21 plus p is nothing but 1.5 and del of y is 0 0.48 into 0 0.48 plus okay so what what's that plus 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 Okay, p into p minus 1, right? So 1.5 into 1.5 minus 1, it is nothing but 0.5 by 2 factorial into del square, that is nothing but 0 0.08, fine. Plus the next thing, which is nothing but p into p minus 1, okay, the same process continues 1.5 into 0.5 minus 0.5 by 3 factorial into what's the value? It's 0, right? Yeah, it's 0 plus something and everything into zero so the last two values are becoming zero so after solving this we got the value as 0 0.96 so this is the value of y of 1.4 guys 
so now i hope everyone got a small idea on this guys so now let us go through newton backward interpolation formula guys so i'll be explaining you in terms of theory guys so as already the video crossed the 10 minutes already so now let us go through it theoretically so basically newton backward interpolation formula the same formula with plus with n with reverse of del okay guys so now let us use let us do that so we'll be writing the formula p is equals to x minus xn by h so remember in newton backward interpolation formula you will be taking the last value as the x of n guys so here i'll be taking x of n is 1.9 okay so 1.9 so 1.9 plus 1.4 we'll be using mod guys basically so that's the reason why it is plus 2.5 it should come okay fine so we got the value of p so y of n and del reverse del of y of n all these values we got the got down from this table fine so we'll be substituting all those values guys so finally we got the same value 0.96 so the thing that you should remember is even you apply newton's forward or backward mostly you're gonna get the same values okay guys so i hope everyone got a small idea on Newton forward and backward interpolation formulas. So in the next video, we'll be going through one more problem orally, guys. Thank you. Thanks for watching.